my beautiful buddies and welcome to a creatism today now before i go into uh, what this video game is about and the synopsis of it and things like that i just want to say that this honestly besides the sims growing up was one of my very favorite games and the fact that the third one is now coming out 13 years later, yes, 13 years later, from the original, um, not the original, the second game, I mean, is, like, incredible. So, one of my friends, um, which I'm actually still friends with her today, got me into this game when I was, like, in middle school. Um, not long after the second one I came out, like, maybe, like, a year or two. So, I've been, like, waiting, like, a good 10 years, probably, for this dang game. Um, and, yeah, it just, I just remember playing it, too, and I thought it was so, so funny because her and her cousin, um, it went the first game they could not get passed through this like one level that was like one of the final levels of the game and they were like playing it for like years like they were playing it for years they were like how did you do that get it past that level like on like the third try and i was like yeah i did it <laughs> but anyway guys um I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what this video game is actually about um, because probably many of you probably don't know what it is or never heard of it. But basically, um, Kingdom Hearts is a video game um, that features Final Fantasy characters as well as Disney characters. So if you love Disney and you love Disney movies, I really recommend playing this game because it features so many cute Disney movies um, and it just like it's it's and it's not like a game that that I would say that it's like very like simplified like it's not like a little kid ish game like it is and it isn't I guess like I played it when I was a little kid but like the storyline is actually really complex like to the point where I would consider it to be like complex as like Harry Potter like it has its own world it has its own characters um which right now we're working on um Kyrie and then there's Sora the main protagonist and Riku um and all these other characters but basically i guess like the reason why you're going and you're fighting your way through all these disney worlds and things like that is it starts with sora um riku and kairi um on their island called destiny islands and just weird things just start to come out of nowhere um just like weird like little creatures called heartless start to appear and it, basically Kyrie, Sora's I guess like main love interest in the um in the story gets like taken from him and like Riku disappears and he gets transported to uh King Mickey which is Mickey Mouse um to basically shut and like, basically been told like hey that there are these heartless they're taking over the world you gotta save you basically gotta save the world um and he just fights his way through all the worlds and all the heartless and things like that um until he comes across a man named ansem now you don't know really who ansem really is supposed to be okay think of him kind of like as voldemort you know from harry potter like how voldemort has is like soul split in like some pieces or something like that it's kind of like the same thing but this guy's name is xehanort and he has like two other pieces like and one of the pieces that in the first game that you I guess you meet of him is called ansem and that's his heartless self and in the second game you meet his um his nobody self which is um sadness i hope <laughs> it sounds kind of confusing but once you play it i guess you understand what i'm talking about and um basically heartless and nobodies um are basically kind of like taking over the world heartless is kind of like the main main one nobodies are kind of just like the empty vessel left behind of someone after they go but yeah anyway that's that's basically the gist of it so um <laughs> if you like want to know more i'll actually will like link a like maybe like a commentary or story video just so you can get the full story of it um because i'm not the best person to 
go ahead and explain this kind of thing like there's people like way better at explaining it than i am um but yeah it's a really really good story really recommend checking out if you've never played them before um and if you like it even further you could just like watch the cutscenes um because the games are quite old now like the original two games were like for for ps2 i think they might have made it remastered um for like older for like the older games for the newer systems you'd have to like look into that but yeah um that's basically the gist of it yeah. <laughs> and it's just it's just really really good i just i just really really like it it's actually just like uh, it just like really like like really screws with your head too because like i really love sora and Kyrie, and they're always getting separated in the third game people finally think they get together but yeah anyway <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you a little bit about the characters. So Sora is very happy-go-lucky. He's a very like happy character, you know. Like he's like the main protagonist. He's he's always like up optimistic and things like that. And um, later as we go on, like in the third game, we finally kind of see him. We see him have a little bit of angst and a little bit of worry because they're going to like the main battle, and it, it just it starts to get dark, you know, it starts to get dark, and then there's Riku, who, Riku is always really, really walked a thin path between, um, light and dark, like, he's always, like, there's, there's a very, like, thin line between him, and there, there is some lightness to him, but there's also some darkness to him, too, so he's a very interesting character in that way, um, who is, um, Sora's best friend, and then there's, um, and then there's Kyrie. so Kyrie is, um, one of the seven princesses of light, and yes, you can guess, like, all the other, I guess, six of them are, um, are, like, Disney, typical Disney princesses, like, Cinderella, Snow White, um, things like that, and yeah, she's, as you can tell, she's, like, one of the pure hearts, and she's, she hasn't really gotten a lot of really, I guess, like, air time, I guess, just because a lot of the time she's been captured. But I'm really, really looking forward to seeing if she has actually some some screen time with um you know like the rest of, like the rest of them like for fighting and things like that because that's something definitely i really really wanted to see um just because like we've played with rico um a little briefly little briefly um in the original like like two games like in the second game we played with him like a really really a little bit um but sorry yeah you mainly play with him and your party members are um goofy and donald <laughs> and they're always like okay and if you don't know what a party member is they're kind of like the two npcs that kind of help you fight i guess um and what i like about this game too is that if you guys are someone who's terrible terrible at like shooters like i am then i have great news for you because this game is not very very hard to fight with because you fight with a sword um what they call it a keyblade but it's basically kind of like the same thing as a sword and it's just it's a lot easier to fight with honestly and like you just it, it just it's fun it's actually fun it's a little it is a little bit challenging but it's fun but not to the point where you're like I don't have any tutorial and I don't know where to start kind of thing and I'm just kind of just gonna have to go into it and hope for the best <laughs> like you'll actually get the gist of it pretty quickly um but it's still challenging and fun so fun fact <laughs> and yeah and what else should I tell you about this game guys oh I don't want to spoil it because there's so much that I could like say but like I don't really want to spoil it but yeah I just decided to go ahead and do this create a sim just because I was feeling kind of inspired off of um of off of that Fortnite create a sim I did a while back um and it, right lately it's just been getting more and more love um and I thought that hey why not go ahead and do another one like video game related um and yeah I don't know maybe maybe it'll do well maybe it'll not I'll see. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was like really inspired off of that. So I decided to go ahead and do another one. Um, I'm also going to be reacting to the final battle trailer um, after like this creatism ends, like in the same video. So for someone who's like interested in that, then great news for you because I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, but I decided to put it afterwards just in case some of you guys are like, 
I don't know what this game is. I don't know if I'm going to like it kind of thing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I thought it just might be fun because I always react to like Sims trailers and things like that. But I do really, really love other video games. I really, really do. Um, I, despite me like not having a PS4 this time, which I'm really sad about. Um, I still really, really love this game. My friend said she'd loan me her PS4 to play this game if I don't get one. <laughs> so that's exciting. That's exciting. I, the reason why I never got a PS4 is because I had a PS3, never ever freaking played it. Still played my PS2 when the PS3 was out. And like, I just never thought like, hey, maybe I should get a PS4. Now all the good games are coming out for PS4, like Detroit Become Human, Kingdom Hearts 3. Ugh. I'm a little annoyed, <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. I'm just, I'm thankful for her. And she's the same friend who actually got me into the Kingdom Hearts. So that's kind of funny, fun fact. We've been friends for a long time since like middle school. So I can tell you how long this game has been out. And I am now a fully grown adult who is in her 20s. So yeah, that's, that, that's interesting. <laughs> And yeah, and of course, too, I came, I put like a more modern take on, I guess, like the. Okay, guys, I will see you for the uh, rest of the video. But just in case you guys don't want to join me over on the reaction part of the video, please make sure to comment, write, and subscribe. Like, do it right now. Like, I love your comments and I love seeing your guys' as interaction and what you guys think. If you played this game or not. But if you want to see what this game is all about, keep on watching, please. And and yeah, I'll see you there. Okay guys, welcome back to the second part of the video. And now I'm gonna press play and we're just gonna like watch this. I have the, um, I have like the subtitles on. Um, so unfortunately we can't listen to the music, but this game has amazing music. So go ahead and watch it and listen to it because they're amazing. I will drop this, um, link in the description as well as like an explanation um for the entire game if you guys want to see it but yeah here we go okay i'm so excited <laughs> okay oh my god it looks so cool they can take your world they can take your heart and cut you loose from all you know oh my god but if it's your fate then every step forward will always be a step closer to home. Oh my god, that looks so amazing. Square Enix makes this game. Um, just FYI. Okay, and Face My Fears is actually such a good game. So I feel like we're not getting the whole effect of it. But like, it's so good. Like, look, there's Monsters, Inc. and Toy Story. Um, but yeah, and there's Tangled. There's so many different worlds. Like, like I, like I said. Oh my gosh! Look, look. Oh, there's even Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh is one that we've always had. Uh, is that Rat from Ratatouille? Never seen that movie. <gasps> let it go. Let it go. Okay. <laughs> I love Pirates of the Caribbean. It looks so good. Oh my gosh! Big Hero Six. Oh my god. Yo, look at that. It look look at the fighting. Oh wow. Cool. We get to play as Riku. I'm I'm living. I'm living for this. Okay. And I think those are our summons. Okay, wow, wow. Cool, cool, cool. Oh wow, cute mini game. This is adorable. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for this game. Oh wow, propel underwater. Oh my god. This is so cool. Oh wow, this this game looks actually really freaking sick, guys. It looks sick. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, I love this. I love this. I love this. <laughs> okay, so tomorrow, you and me in the ring, you're ready. Oh my god, it's Kyrie and Lee. Don't hold back, Lee, promise. Oh my god. And he like looks back because he thinks he's seeing Xenon. Oh my god. Find the heart. I would only hate to think inviting you back into our ranks only for you to fail and deliver a final vessel. Who is that? Join your heart with mine. Oh my god, this must be Vantis. So where we're supposed to be looking? A keyblade ward is upon us. Oh wow. Haven't you already learned how to restore someone's heart after it's been lost? In time, I awaken it to a new purpose. There's so much going on. Kyrie's right. We're all in this together, Sora. Oh my god. Please, I have created enough victims. All the children have been sacrificed in the name of your research. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look. He's fighting his, like, dark self. I can't right now. I can't right now. There's a high price to pay for revealing such power foolishly. Oh my gosh. So what? 
there's no saving you. Oh my god, what what's going on? What's going on? I need this game like now. I need it. <laughs> so who are you? Oh my god, I want to know who that is too. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh wow. This is this is sick. Oh my god, what's going on? So keep like what? Oh my god, Tyreen, Sora, <laughs> Axel, um, Sora. Oh my god, so much going on. Sora, you don't believe that. I know you don't. Oh my god, he's like crying, screaming. That's something we've never seen. Okay, wow. Okay, the ending logo screen. So that was pretty intense. So, oh my god. Oh wait, there's more. Once a seat of power for all Keyblade wielders. Here I am and my other self can be one. See, this is where I mean that he's kind of like, that he's kind of like, like um Voldemort in a way because he has his followers he calls it the organization 13 like the cloaked people and then like you know we have um we have like the whole like his other selves kind of thing the old man Xehanort is basically Voldemort in my opinion but yeah um I hope you guys enjoyed the creative sim and I guess me reacting to the trailer um but yeah go ahead and listen to this with all the music and full effect I'm pretty sure it's good like Face My Fears is a really good song as well as the other ones from the one and two they're simple and clean and sanctuary um but yeah anyway guys please make sure you comment right, subscribe as well as me follow me on other my social media including my um um, blog down below and my twitch where i i am gonna be streaming um but yeah yeah i know i already said that before but i'm saying it again for you guys that have stuck around for this whole reaction and if you did i love you guys so much thank you so much for sticking around and i will see you guys later okay bye bye bye